Hi guys, Trevor from Armkey Outdoors here and today I'm going to do a review and walkthrough of what I use this pack for. This is the Peak Design Travel Bag 45 liter. I also have the 10 liter sling. So I'm going to talk about what I just use these bags for, how I use them, what I brought, how it worked, and uh, my final thoughts. So big shout out to Peak Design for sending me these. I'm going to walk you guys through what I used it for. Um, Starting things off, this won't be quite a technical review. There's plenty out there if you guys want to know exactly everything about these bags. But this is going to be pretty much how I used it um, and really what I thought and how it performed. So uh, we'll get off to the price. This guy comes in at $300 just for the travel pack. And then the camera cubes, I believe the small is like 50 the medium 60 or 70 maybe a little bit lower. And then the large is like 89 or something like that. So it is an expensive bag. It, um, it, it's definitely expensive. If you guys are looking for a cheap bag, this is not it. Uh, but I think it is well worth the price. After using it uh, this past week, I actually was at the CrossFit Games, the 2021 CrossFit Games, as a uh, videographer and photographer. If you guys want to check out my Instagram, it is rmk.visions. That is my um, photography Instagram. Check me out there. That's what I'm doing right now as well for work. An absolutely amazing experience and that is where I use these so you know this stuff is not cheap peak design really uh, you, you you pay for the materials the functionality and uh, the design and the, the look really so but uh, this is what I carried in this pack it's pretty much still full I actually do have COVID right now um, so I've been doing not a lot so this is still full of what I uh, what I went out there with Pretty much everyone I went out there with has it, um, so not a fun experience, but I feel pretty good. So, you know, vitamin D and water, maybe some sunlight and I'll be good. Uh, Joby Gorilla Pod on the side, I pretty much kept that in this water bottle pocket the entire trip just in case I needed it. Again, I was being a team's photographer and videographer, so I was swapping everything. I never knew what I was going to need. We had this media room and I was able to just kind of use this as a base station and then I would take my sling with me and take whatever I needed for the day or what event uh, with the sling there. So. This combination worked extremely well. I'm so happy that I was able to get this from Peak Design before I went. Uh, you do have one front zipper pocket here. Ugh, that in frame right there. So you've got your top pocket. Every bag has that. It's kind of a quick access pocket. I would keep um, like my mask, wallet, you know, stuff like that. Uh, with traveling, I would have my boarding pass in this front pocket. And I kind of skipped over that, but while we were traveling, I did take this as a carry-on. It is carry-on compliant as long as you don't have the extension lifted up. Worked really well, slid it in the overhead compartment, brought the uh, the sling with me for the vlog setup. So again, this thing is very versatile and you can use it as a travel bag if you want, but this is a camera bag style overview. So we will unzip this front, uh, this front pocket here. So this is not the laptop sleeve. However, this is where I kept my laptop. Reason being, I have this nice little padded, uh, I just bought a new MacBook Pro and I'm very careful with it. This thing is awesome. So I have it in here and then I just kind of slide this in here. It gives it plenty of room and then that way it's on the front of my pack. I like that one because I feel like when the bag is fully loaded, it is super heavy when I have this fully loaded out. Um, and when I'm putting it on my back and the laptop sleeve is back here, I feel like I'm just gonna crush my laptop. You probably won't, it is well padded, but I will show you guys one reason um, alongside of that, that I do keep it in the front. Another reason I do kinda like to put the bag like this if I'm not getting my camera gear out first, um, I can just grab my laptop out. It just worked well for me, that's how I, that's how I used it. Um, so we got the laptop there and then you have a bunch of organizational pouches here on the front You kind of have like a EDC pocket with some see-through mesh uh, But you've got organizational pouches here. I didn't really use these I did have a couple pens and business cards in there uh, But I I didn't really touch them that much You have one more kind of stretchy zip pocket here Show you guys and then same pocket on the other side and then a mesh pocket that actually goes to the inside of the pack Which we will talk about that feature. I used a ton um, Just because I would set the bag down like this and then I would also you know need to grab chargers that I was like Oh, no, they're on the inside, but no nope, you can get to it from this side So that is that and then on the other side you do have one more water bottle pocket on the back side of these you have zippered uh, access for quick little hidden storage I'd say. 
great great attention to detail these do stretch 30 or 40 ounce hydro flask in there most of the time on the bottom of the front here you have a kind of a lash system again never use this i didn't really need to i guess but you can latch these all the way to the top and then kind of carry like i guess i could put my um gimbal in there or a tripod as well so didn't use those much so i don't really have much to say i assume they work pretty well um, but they just latch away and you have like kind of a magnetic closure and then a really really nice feature i didn't use because i didn't use this necessarily as like a travel bag i feel like this would be more of a travel specific feature where you get to your destination and you're maybe you're using it for hiking or something i'd rather use a, a hiking bag if i was going to but you know if you're doing one bag travel max carry on you have this extension so it unzips and you get all this extra space i believe it is 10 liters i'm gonna have to put it on the screen again not a very technical review but you have 10 liters of extra room on there so i could have used that throughout the weekend um you know if i if i really wanted to stuff like an extra big old rain layer in there which i did carry with me um but didn't use it it's a nice feature to have for sure it doesn't add much um you know bulk or anything like that so that's there hey no no hey so you do have side access zippers i didn't really use this much except for in the airport uh, i first had my camera in this bag and i wanted to get it out quick so that's what these pockets are for right here you have these side pockets that get you into your bag via this the side <laughs> so you can leave the camera cube the way this works is you can leave this camera cube unzipped and then that way um, if you ever need to grab your camera gosh it's like the, it's like my first time doing a review or something you've got your camera right here you can kind of get to it quick pull it out close this up and uh, and you're good to go now we are going to flip the bag over and uh, and kind of talk about the meat of the bag um, that was one thing when I did have my camera in the front I needed to be careful when I laid the bag down to get to my camera stuff I'd always take my laptop out just so it wasn't kind of crushing it which you don't want to do um, and so yeah we're gonna talk about it real quick before I forget everything the shoulder straps worked extremely well I have no complaints they are plenty padded I had this thing crazy loaded out it was probably I don't know 20 25 pounds with everything and it worked well I don't expect a bag like this to be this versatile and have the carrying capacity and comfort of like a you know 65 liter backpacking bag that's just not gonna happen there should be no comparison. You do have a lap uh, travel, you know, put it on your on your rolly thing. Didn't use a rolly thing, so didn't need that, but that's cool. You can also pick it up like this. You have shoulder straps, well adjustable. They, they move, they articulate very well here up at the top via these two little move like that, which is cool. Uh, you this this feature is insane didn't use this again um, but this would help for long-term carrying so you have a included hip belt just kind of pops out with these magnetic this is brilliant so this is what you're paying for right you say Trevor why is this a three hundred dollar bag that's why so didn't use that to be honest kind of forgot it was there it was such a busy week I was just getting thrown in each car with all of my camera gear and stuffed in the back seat but it was a blast didn't have I mean that's pretty quick I probably should have done that it attaches via a little little clip here um, again not a whole backpacking rig but this will get the job done if you have a heavy load and you're not just uh, thrown over your shoulder like I did the whole time right so big beefy zippers on this bag they are pretty much all water repellent aqua guard zippers that is awesome that is another thing you are paying for and the bag flops open as as so as such i'm going to talk about why i did not use this my laptop and this would actually have fit my laptop case um it just feels bulky on my back this is where it should go everyone has their preferences i didn't use it number one reason being if I wanted to just carry my laptop, my brand new expensive laptop that I bought, and I'm in and out, right? I'm going to and from the Airbnb, going to the media room, blah, blah, blah. I forget to close this, say one time. And granted, you just don't, you could just say, don't forget to close it, but say you do. Um, I get to the media room, I open this up, and I feel like 
with how slick these laptops are, this would this could just slide right out. So that's why I didn't keep it in there. You do have another divider. Cool. It's good. It, it you know, teach their own. I I didn't use it. I think maybe times I will. And uh, you know, if I have that front pocket actually loaded out, those organizational pouches, then maybe I would use that. So or use this. Now. Moving on to the inside of the pack here, medium camera cube. It attaches via these little clips here where you can kind of clip the pack, uh, the camera bag to the pack, and this thing does not move. So this is probably how I'll keep it most of the time. Um, unless I'm using this for a travel bag, I can then pop that out, but odds are I'm gonna be taking my camera with me. Uh, so I probably, probably would leave this in there. So we're gonna talk about this. I like the medium camera cube because it allows me to have this extra room up here. You could get the full large one where you have a lot more dividers. I don't need that much padded space, so I would rather have something like this. This is the tech pouch from Peak Design. This thing was a lifesaver. I have everything I need in this pouch. It's kind of a cluster right here. Sorry, cluster right now. I have a mouse, recorder, portable charger. I have two portable chargers, tons of cords. I have my trusty, I absolutely love this thing, the SanDisk. Uh, Extreme Pro hard drive that I had everything on, um, adapter from my MacBook Pro, everything in this in this pouch has a purpose and I have a need for it. I put all of this in one place when I got to that media room, I pulled this out, put it on my desk and I was good to go. I have a layer in here. Uh, this varied from kind of a light hoodie to a rain jacket. I have my MacBook charger and then I have also, if you load this out correctly, you can do it, but I have my small rig set up. So, I would put that kind of in the bottom here and all of this fit in there extremely well. Bottom of this pouch, or on the compartment, there is that uh, compartment I was talking about. You have the zippered, zippered access that goes to the front. So in here, I have my business card. This is where I keep all of my kind of bulky chargers that I have since taken out. But I would keep those in there. Um, it works really well. So tons of storage outside of just the dedicated camera cube. Now in my camera cube, the reason I got this bag sent, uh, I have my full layout. So this is where I would open it up like this for the day and pick what I needed. First thing every day was my 50 to 140, gosh, 2.8. Uh, you shoot on Fuji, I have the Fuji X-T4. This guy was an absolute lifesaver. I will throw some pictures up here throughout the video that I got this weekend, um, or this week at the CrossFit Games, and this this lens really allowed me to do it. So, had to have that, use that pretty much every day. And then I have a bunch of chargers in here, just power bricks. I have the ND filter for that lens. Um, I have my Viltrox 56 1.4 in there. And then just a bunch of other smaller stuff, really. Um, I have my external monitor, I have SD cards, external monitor battery, camera battery, sunglasses, just kind of stuff stuffed in there, and then I would keep my camera in this pocket. So uh, really this pack, the way I had it loaded out, worked extremely well. Um, now it's very padded, it has their origami uh, kind of, you can load this out, you all know if you're looking at this video, you can load this thing out any way you want. It comes with all these dividers. You plug them in, Velcro, good to go. You build your system. Works extremely well. It worked exactly how I, uh, I knew it would, to be honest. This is what I carried on me the entire time I was at the games. It worked so well. It gave me the perfect amount of room. I did some kind of move, moving around, uh, depending on what I was shooting, if we were outside or inside the Coliseum. And this is the 10 liter sling from Peak Design. It's awesome. I loved it. It's clean. It looks good. You know, everyone's rocking peak design there, truly. Um, it was just a bunch of crazy professional photographers and then me with my Fuji system. Uh, but it was a learning experience and I loved it. But everyone had their kind of systems and it was fun to see. Uh, cross body design here 10 liters, so a good amount of room. On the, you have one front pocket. In this pocket, I had my big 20,000 milli, milliwatt amp, amp hour battery what else do I even have in here from my trip more cords so that was just more cords USB C's pen in there but this is where I would keep uh, yeah, a couple business cards for on the go and then phone wallet um, and that was really it in this pocket so 
quick access, nice and sealed there, pretty hidden, no one's getting into it. Uh, carabiner, you have some attachment points on the side. I put a carabiner there, I would throw my hat on there if I got hot on that. Back panel, nothing crazy. You can slide this over a suitcase, I believe, if you need to. And uh, I mean, I would just throw this thing on and go. I never needed to adjust the strap after the first adjustment, but it is nice and well padded. You know, I don't care about breathability. It's, it's durable, I'd rather be durable. There's no mesh on the back, so it can get a little hot. But this clip here, you can pop this open and adjust the sling, which is awesome. I have it pretty much fully tightened right now, but you just kind of clip it back down. So that's how their sling works for the crossbody, uh, just the camera sling. It's great stuff. So on to the main compartment. This is very easy, easily accessible when it's on your back. Um, I would have like one hand full and I could swing it around, get into it like this f fairly, you know, sometimes it would take a little bit, but you get to it. I'd have it like this, you know, I'd be shooting my, I'd want some video clips or whatever. I'd grab an ND filter out, uh, whatever I'd need. Speaking of have all my filters in one here and then I have just sunglasses. There's my Peak Design strap in this case, or this pocket. In this very middle compartment, I just have um, an extra mask and a towel. That's where I'd keep, I'd kind of shove those in there and then I'd put my camera in there. If I wanted to like, you know, take a minute and uh, kind of regroup, I'd throw my camera in there. And then on this side, I just have my Deity mic uh, stuffed in there. But this bag as well, just like all of their bags, have that um, origami style dividers and one of the really cool things hopefully you guys can see about this bag is that you have this divider here and if you're not using it for something that large if you're just using like a you know a small lens what you can do is plop that down and it gives you a, a nice little cubby so really cool cool stuff from Peak Design you have some nice labeling in here and then on the very front you have your um, organization so another pen one, two, three batteries. I'd throw, you know, smaller stuff in here. You can put memory cards or whatever. On the back, you do have a sleeve. The, uh, uh, it closes magnetically. I think I kept like my, uh, my Kindle in there while I was gone. Got some CBD gummies from the vendors. But yeah, that was my loadout, guys. I absolutely love these bags. I had the six liter of this bag before, but to me, the 10 is a, is a nice sweet spot. I use this on like uh, photo shoots. If I'm doing like a portrait session, I'll keep my backup lens in there. Um, it carries everything I need. This has been a long video, uh, but I really wanted to get this out quick as I just got done using it. And um, again, thanks to Peak Design for sending this over. This isn't sponsored, but I reached out to them and said, hey, I'm going to the CrossFit Games. I need a bag that can perform, that I can carry all my stuff in. And that was it. So um, thank you. And again, if you guys want to check out my Instagram, it is rmk.visions. Uh, that's going to be my photography. That is the other part of what I do. This will be RMK Outdoors, where I kind of go over outdoor products. But if you guys like this kind of content or you're new to the channel, um, this is what we do. Kind of use gear, test it, see you on the next video. Sorry it's been so long. It's been a crazy couple of months for me. But a lot of stuff in the works, and I'm very excited about it. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Subscribe.